hit the nail on the head there, 34 years of M&M Global. And it is, I'm going to use the word iconic because I think it is that. There's so many awards. There's a lot of noise in the awards space. And I think it's important when there's certain ones that really mean something. And I mean, and they, they're they well known and they they mean something to those that win it. They mean something to those that are shortlisted. And I also think in a time at which we have Chat GPT is a slight threat towards the industry. And I'm going to use the word vanilla. We need awards that celebrate the opposite of vanilla, those that celebrate creativity and innovation. And I have always personally seen M&M Global as being just that. Um, I'm very proud to be a, a judge. And thank you very much for asking me. I judge at other awards and I do love it because I get to see, I get to appreciate all these incredible entries and the hard work that goes into it. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Very honoured to be a judge. I think what I'm what I'm not looking forward to is being annoyed by, see, again, seeing chat GPT generated awards entry. And just as a heads up, we can spot it a mile off. So anyone who's thinking of, I can generate an awards entry in five minutes, think again, because that's exactly what we're not looking I would always recommend with awards entries that the objective then really relates to the results. So often people are getting too much in the weeds of their entry instead of going, look, why did we do this? What did we set out to achieve? And can we show how we did it, bring it to life and show it worked? And it's as simple as that. Less is more. And I would also recommend that as, as a judge, you tend to see a lot of entries and you are looking for standout elements that really make it zing and that could be that it's done on a showreel or that simply the words are easy to digest the, so avoiding the corporate spiel so i would love to see people being if a simple idea a, idea well executed beautifully delivered and that it performed I mean, it's interesting because obviously at the Digital Voice, we work with a lot of very innovative ad tech companies and those that are pushing attention, creativity, showing that it actually marries data and creativity. And that's been thought about. I'll look at that as well from the objective of does this, will it, how will this measure? How will this perform? What clever data was used as part of this? How did the creative, I suppose, what automation tools were used in order to show what creatives work? So I like to see those clever, I like to see clever tech involved in that. Um, so that would probably be that because I think we've got so much at our fingertips. We've got so many tools and companies and talented bits of, well, not talented software, just very innovative software that really can make your campaigns perform. And that's what I'd love to see, the evidence that this brilliant creative work or the story behind it or the, the, I suppose, the proof that they grabbed attention and how did it do that? Those elements would be important to me. This is a tough one, isn't it? I've got so many. I tell you one, I'm gonna see if you recognize it if I do this. I can't do it, I can't do the eyebrows, the McDonald's one. Oh, um, brilliant. <laughs> it was, <clears throat> it stood actually Tom Mollerton at Automated Creative. He does um, a podcast called Shiny Ads and they bring on brands and advertisers, et cetera. And I've been on it a few times where you review the ads and that one by McDonald's was so, I think it was a five star that it got on this, on the podcast, but that to me stood out. I just found it in a, in a time when it's a little bit tough out there, that lightness, that, and it, that it was so on brand and it was so simple and it made me smile. Done. All the tick, 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 McDonald's. Being a juror is not just an honour, it's actually something that's really important to, to give back to the industry and to have, a, you know, it's not an easy job. You've got a lot of entries you've got to go through, but you actually, I believe that it helps me, it shapes me, it brings, it gives me knowledge. I'm always learning all the time. However experienced you are, you should never stop learning and weirdly seeing all those entries it sparks something I find every time of seeing, thinking that is a new way of doing things, a different way. Um, and I think just from a perspective of, as, as always, I'm so happy to work with Festival of Media and M&M &M Global. So I think it's a badge of honour you should wear. And it's also then in turn, it, it, you're giving something back that's hugely important.